Six and a half billion people inhabit planet Earth. Over 300 million live in the United States. In Florida alone, there are about 18 million residents, and nearly one million people call Pinellas County home. Now, I know what you're thinking. That many people must produce a ton of waste. <laughs> nearly two million tons per year. Each of us generates over five pounds per day at home. And when you add the trash from the rest of our daily activities, that's another five pounds. The question is, drum roll please, where does all of your trash go? Let's hit the streets of Pinellas County to get a little help from our friends. In pounds per day, how much do you think you throw away? Me personally, I would say I throw about five pounds of garbage a day. Where does your garbage go when you throw it away? Hmm, I'm not really sure. A whole lot of landfills, I'm assuming. In the bag, the the and by the side of my cabinet curb. in the kitchen. <laughs> so after your kitchen, where does it go? To the curb. And after the curb? <laughs> to the garbage truck. And after the garbage truck? I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Where does your garbage go? I put it in and it goes away. It's funny she should say that. Most people think the garbage just goes away, but that's just fantasy. Here's what really happens to it. Six days a week, about a thousand garbage trucks collect our trash from all over Pinellas County. Some trucks even have automated lifting systems that the driver operates from inside the cab. Hey, Rufus. Hi, Andy. Where does all this garbage go? Come, I'll show you. Welcome to Pinellas County Solid Waste Operations, the place your garbage goes when you throw it away. away. The first stop on the garbage trail is the scale house, where the trucks are weighed. This is how we track how much garbage comes in. We only accept solid waste generated in Pinellas County, so if you're wondering why there's such a long line, it's because people throw away too much stuff. A common disposal method is burying trash in a landfill. As you might have guessed, a landfill is land that gets filled with trash. But that's not the only card in our deck. Behold, Pinellas County's waste to energy plant. This awesome structure turns your garbage into electricity, enough to power 40,000 households every day. Garbage? Making electricity? I think Ben Franklin would be proud. Pinellas County operates an integrated solid waste management system. This means we combine waste reduction, reuse, and recycling along with waste to energy and sanitary landfills. After the trucks are weighed, they are directed to one of four places. The inspection pad, where we conduct special waste screenings, random inspections, and the occasional search for a lost item. The waste to energy plant, the landfill, or if it's yard waste, the mulch area. Let's start our trash adventure at the tipping floor, where garbage trucks dump their loads. Prepare to be dazzled. But first, let's bring out the star of the tipping floor show. It's big, it's strong, it eats garbage all day long. It's the claw. Two of these babies work at the same time, lifting six tons of garbage per grab. Crane operators sit high above the tipping floor and maneuver these bad boys 24 hours a day. There's always one on reserve, and they are undoubtedly one of the coolest features of the plant. Man, I love that thing. Anyway, as trucks dump their garbage onto the tipping floor, a loader pushes it into the pit. So what you see on the floor is just the tip of the garbage iceberg. This happens to be the last chance for us to remove anything from the garbage that doesn't belong here. Next, the claw scoops up the garbage and feeds it into the boilers. We can burn up to 3,150 tons of garbage per day at a temperature of 1,500 degrees. The heat turns water into steam that drives a turbine to make electricity. Pollution control devices such as scrubbers and filters clean air emissions. So have no fear, the white smoke you may sometimes see is actually steam. After the garbage is burned, we are left with incombustible metal and ash. Metal is removed so it can be recycled, and then the ash is sent to the landfill. The waste to energy process reduces the volume of incoming garbage by 90%, so it saves a lot of space. But not all of Pinellas County's garbage can be processed this way. So technologies like the waste to energy plant and sanitary landfills really do help. 
But out of 1,943,415 tons of municipal solid waste generated last year, 950,884 tons were combusted. 15% so of incoming waste like the waste landfill. Out of 1,943,000 incoming waste. Okay, I see this isn't getting through. If we, we keep, keep making, making this much, much garbage, garbage, we're going, we're going to, run to run out of, out of space. space. Pinellas County produces over 5,000 tons of waste per day, but the waste to energy plant can't handle that much trash. Burying unprocessed garbage takes up 10 times more space than incinerator ash, so it fills our sanitary landfill a lot faster. But what's so special about a sanitary landfill anyway? Unlike the old days when garbage was just thrown away or buried at the dump, sanitary landfills are designed to contain the garbage and prevent pollution. Pinellas County's landfill has a liner made from a clay slurry wall that surrounds the entire facility and is connected to a natural clay layer underground called the Hawthorne Formation. This liner is like a bathtub that keeps garbage juice, called leachate, yuck, from leaking into our groundwater. On top, we bury the garbage with ash from the waste energy plant to control odors and pests. But we all know you can't keep filling a bathtub forever, so let's see what else you can do with your garbage. Hey, JD. I'm about to go dumpster diving. I hear they throw away all sorts of good stuff in here. Yeah, I know they do. I tell you what, you should see some of the things they throw away. But we actually put that to very good use. Let me show you how we do that. Sweet. Alrighty, man. Let's get wet. Pinellas County Reef Program takes a lot of concrete debris from construction and demolition projects and sinks them for reefs. These artificial reefs then become a great marine habitat for lots of underwater wildlife and organisms. There are 13 offshore reefs and 29 inshore reefs. These make a lot of opportunities for snorkeling, diving, and fishing for all visitors and residents from everywhere. Awesome, JD, thanks for sharing. No problem, Andy. But hey, I gotta get back to work. See you under the water. See you, JD. Those reefs are so cool, but that's not the only thing we can do to reduce waste going into our only landfill. A lot of trash that comes our way is yard waste. If you separate yard waste from your garbage and bring it here, we can turn it into mulch or firewood. Did you know that our mulch process naturally kills seeds, diseases, and pests? Or that we give this stuff away for free? Don't you just love technology? But sometimes it can create hazardous waste. I bet you didn't know your old computer or TV can contain up to six pounds of lead. And that's just one of the toxic substances found in e-waste. Pinellas County's solution is the Household Electronics and Chemical Collection Center, or HEC3 for short. A lot of items around your house are hazardous and should not be mixed with regular trash or poured down the drain. Be sure to check the labels for disposal instructions. If they're hazardous, bring them to us. Some of those items may be reusable, so we stock the shelves of our swap shop for others to take and use, for free. The rest of the items are either recycled or safely disposed. We do as much as we can around here to reduce, reuse, and recycle, but we can't do it alone. We need your help. What else can we do with garbage? Uh, we can uh, ship it to other countries. Um, even if we just set out all recyclable materials, period, and let somebody else do the separating or whatever. Give me one of the three R's. Reading. Pardon me, are your shoes made from post-consumer waste? I have no idea what you're asking me right now. That's why I'm here to help you help us. There's many simple things that you can do every day to help close the loop. It basically boils down to the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Here's how. Buy only what you need. Maybe it's time to reconsider how much stuff you really use. Avoid excess packaging and buy in bulk when appropriate. Steer clear of disposables such as throwaway cups, napkins, and silverware. Second, reuse. Share and borrow rarely used items with friends and neighbors. Pack low litter lunches with reusable containers. Repair broken items and give away unwanted but still usable goods rather than trashing them. Third, participate in local recycling programs and don't forget to close the loop. 
That's right, shop for things made from post-consumer recycled materials. The things you throw in the recycling bin don't just magically go away either. After you put them where they belong, recyclables go on a journey of their own. First, they're sorted, baled, weighed, and sold on the open market. Next, they're processed into new materials, and then they return to be used again. This is what we refer to as closing the loop. Replacing raw materials with recycled materials reduces pollution, conserves resources, and saves energy and landfill space. Hey Rufus. Hi Andy. So how many different kinds of recyclables are there? There are all kinds of stuff that could be recycled. You can use the A to Z guide online. There's aluminum cans, tin cans, steel cans, and all kinds of metals. Jar glass, bottle glass, brown glass, clear glass, newspaper, notebook paper, copy paper, printer paper, computer paper, paper bags, cardboard paper, plastic newspaper sleeve, plastic drum, plastic siding, PVC. Andy, are you listening to me in there? Oh, Andy, and grocery bags. Aerosol cans, cleaning, solvent, antifreeze, brake fluid, motor oil, fuel oil, cooking oil, oil paint, latex paint, marine flares. Yard waste can be recycled. Trees, brush, grass clippings. Hey Rufus, I'll tell you what, man, go check out this recycling directory. I hope by now you understand that your garbage doesn't just go away. So go tell your friends, family, and neighbors to close the loop by reducing, reusing, and recycling. Because we all need a little help from our friends. Hey Rufus! Now you want to talk to me. Say, how many different kinds of recyclables are there? There's all kind of things that can be recycled. <laughs> Pardon me, are your shoes made from post-consumer waste? Is your face made from no post-consumer waste? Sanitary landfills are designed to contain the garbage. Ah, I was running. <laughs> Latex paint, marine flares. You got any questions for me? Supposedly, I'm the garbage guru. Um, uh, no. Where should all this garbage go? Hi, I'm about to take a drop off of that. <laughs> hey, Rufus. Hi, Andy. Where's this garbage go? None of your business, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got it. Oh, yeah, I got to close the door, too, huh? That's enough trash talk. Now it's time to walk. Let's go. Let's walk. <laughs>